Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. We're playing some Brand mid this game. Yesterday we did Vagar. Today I'm going to do some Brand because he's another mage that we could play skill shot based. And he's pretty fun to play mid. No one ever plays him mid anymore. And we're going to do that for you today. We got uh, Comet, Manaflow, Transcendence, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. So I'm running my Zareth runes on him. I'm going to go uh, CDR based this game instead of like Dark Harvest. So I feel like this gives you more poke in lane. And it scales better later on. Unless you get like a ton of harvest decks, but that's not gonna happen against an Aurelio. Harvest is better in the bot lane. I like Comet more in the mid lane. Cause then we get the uh the CDR and the boots also. Okay, we've got our stun now. Nice, we dodged everything she had. And we've already burned through pretty much all of her healing. Unless she has uh, biscuits, but she doesn't. She has a uh, time warp. So I'm thinking we push this in. They have an Evelyn. I want to try and get my lead before Evelyn's level 6, or she will just kill us. Yeah, that's pushed in. Ah, oh, she's healed a full already off that potion. I'm going to ward my top side. She's got full stacks on her passive, so I'm going to chill. Because if she fights me here, she might win. Nice, we hit more poke. She still has those stacks up, so I'm staying back. Okay, they're about to drop. There, they dropped. She might go for this minion right here. Nope. Who died? Bot lane. Okay, so now the wave's pushing to me. Um, she has to dash in for these minions if she wants any of them. I'm gonna W this because I know she dashed to it. We also hit that and clear the wave a bit. But yeah, we'll be getting back into some Xerath. I'm just taking a little break from him because I'm kind of bored of playing Xerath videos every day. There's not much more I could do on him. Besides, like, hoping for those random games that are really pop off and hard carry 1v5s or people just like. Raging. I mean, if I hit a stun on that Evelyn, I could one shot her. But yeah, we just keep the wave like this. Aurelia will lose over time. If she goes in, then I poke her or possibly kill her. I'm gonna W this just so I get the cannon. Now's your chance to go in, because this is down for a couple seconds. But she could have uh, Evelyn waiting up here. Let's see, who's her support? It's Zareth's support. So we'll push this in. I'm, I'm probably going to hold my stun. I'm just going to try and go for some poke here. Because I feel like Evelyn's in this area above me. Yes, okay, more poke on her. There we go, she's dead. Nothing she can do here, just dead to the passive. Got a really good stun on her. Now we have ult. If Evelyn ganks me here, I can kill her too. Next wave's coming, it might stop my recall. Now we're good. So we got Lost Chapter, we have free boots, so we can't pick up anything else. Is this live? Yes, it is. Not if you're watching on YouTube, though. I think he's got him. Nice. Yeah, lane Nocturne's pretty strong, especially against mages like Swain. Okay, we hit the E first, so the W does an extra 25% damage. I might go, uh, 
full AP brand too. She's dead again. Oh, never mind. Um, she's gonna flash. Okay, I should have finished her off there. That was my bad. I forgot about the time warp healing with the biscuit. It actually healed her so much. That's okay. If I would have flashed, I think she would have flashed too, and it would just been flash for flash, which isn't really worth. Because then I could die to Evelyn gank later on. Yeah, I just misplayed there. I forgot about that healing. But it pushes her out of lane. It's not the end of the world. We get a plating. Uh, I think they've got this. Nice. Oh, that's a shutdown. I'm gonna alt over the wall. I could flash for her. Okay, I done goofed. I need to get out of here now. I almost stole that. Okay, so we picked up our kill. We had to use flash, but I think it's worth it. Not trying to get too close to Aurelia, because if she does stun us, I'm pretty sure she can one-shot us in her combo. She's going to jump to this one. Maybe not. I'll let the cannon kill it. And the other one, too. We have top lane doing well, bot lane doing well. Everyone's going to start snowballing soon, though. She's level 6 with all. Okay, I need to back up because my spells are down here. If she would go in here, I would lose. So we can go recall. We can get a blasting one. Actually, we could probably stay because Ludens is in 300, 250 gold. I was going to alter there, but I don't think we do enough damage to kill her. I just want the cannon here. Not alting her because she is kind of beefy. I do have Ludens, but I kind of want to stay. I could wait behind this wall right here when she goes for these back ones. Maybe I do something. I'm gonna use a potion just to round up my health. Just in case if I do get engaged on. That almost hit. I think Evelyn's near because she's walking up. Eh, almost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Evelyn's around mid bot set. I'm guessing right here. I'm not walking up. Because I don't have flash. And Aurelia can easily pop me if I play. If I misstep one little bit. Or poke. I think she has to leave soon. The only healing she gets now is from that uh, vampiric. How did Zareth die? She's leaving. I got my free boots now. That's nice. We're not super slow anymore. We have a Luden, so we have CDR. So I like to go Ludens first. And then you have multiple options on brand here. You can go Rylai's. You can go Leandri's. You can go Deathcap. Um, we can't really buy anything here. I'm going to go Dark Seal. And maybe go death cap if we get another kill or two. I 
They should have Zerath here. I want to see flashes. Well, Evelyn got him. Wow, look how much that did. Gotta try and clear this. I'm going to assume Evelyn ulted. We hit pretty hard now. I like maxing my Q second. More damage on the stun. Okay, I nuked her there. I hit her with everything. Stun him too. If I get this W, it's gonna lose even more health. Uh, I was gonna flash. I think I still got him actually. Yeah, I was gonna flash Q him. But I ended up pressing Q before I flashed, so I decided not to flash. Oh, you want to die too? Oh! I hate that you can dodge that. Oh, that clean Q. I hate that you could dodge that and still get taunted, but at least I think it made me survive. I could have played that a lot better. I definitely could have killed Evelyn there without flashing if I didn't miss my stun. But overall, that was pretty good for us. I think I got three kills there. Aurelia, Swain, and Evelyn. So we will go that uh, large rod. Death cap does sound kind of nice. It makes your uh, passive do so much damage. Because it scales with AP. The uh, Once you hit three abilities, it's going to do 20% of their max health. I kind of want Sork Shoes too soon. Even though they don't have any MMR, the Sork Shoes will bump up my damage so much because Brand has really high base damage. Ooh, if I threw that stun out a second earlier, I would have had her. I just didn't think she'd jump there. I think a little aggressive here. I should probably back up. Somebody's above me over here. It's Evelyn. I'm gonna alter since Lux hit her snare. Then she's stuck in the minion wave with my ult. Did not hit anyone there. The Lucian is 7 kills. It's pretty big. Maybe I should go roam bot. I don't think I could kill them though without my ult. I'm just gonna chill mid and keep farming. He's walking up to me. Evelyn could be behind him or he's just playing aggressive. There's Evelyn. Looks like Nocturne's gonna get her. If this Swain tries to hook me here, I just walk to the side. He didn't go for it. I killed Xerath. Aurelia is about to be back mid, so I'm gonna clear this wave and then leave. I have some money to spend. We have another large rod. Or we could grab sword shoes, but I'm gonna go the large rod. A oh, nice spot line. Sell the potion. Another one of those. Oh yeah, they might have swapped lanes. I mean Both of them are losing lanes, so it doesn't really matter if they swap. You gotta shut down, he's back in the game. Oh, he went ravenous. Uh, she's gonna try and herald my turret, and I'm gonna say no. You get the fuck out of here. If I alter, she's just dead because I have so much ability power. Okay, never mind. She lives again. But we got her away from my turret, and she didn't use the herald, so I'm fine now. You know what? Fuck you, Evelyn. I'm gonna kill you. Come back, mid. I dare you. There we go. 
goof or poke on her. Uh, she's still here. You guys. Get off of my turret. It's not yours. Yeah, run away. Oh, that's a big chunk of my turret. It's alright. I do have ult again. I have enough to rotate my spells. I could definitely kill Aurelia and Swain here. That one's up there. They're not going for it. Ludens hit her though, so she got hit by Scorch and Comet there. It's just Evelyn is most likely above me here. No, nope, she's going bomb. Let me go look for her. Alright, that works. I guess walk by her. Everybody be stealing my cannon minions today. I have death cap. I don't think we get boots yet though. Nice. Oh, Senna's two levels ahead of him now. I'm gonna stay. I want boots if I go get Death Cap. The ADC Rage quit. Uh oh. This game's just about over anyway once I buy this item. I need like 100 more gold. We'll get our big damage here. He's gonna get Zeros, but he might die for this. Triple kill on Eve. Okay, I got my death cap now. Can I have this? Probably not. So we do an extra, oh my gosh, 16% plus 6%. 1-2% of their max health after hitting three abilities. And does it have a base damage too? No. might die to Avalon. You know, I really thought the passive would kill her there. I didn't want to ignite her. I saved it. I'm gonna hide behind my turret. My finger's on flash. In case Avalon comes through here. <laughs> Third wave. I'm greedy. Oh, hey. Redemption. Now we can stay. If I flash Evelyn Charm, I think I can survive. I see my abilities to be up. Um, what are we going next? I would go... Um... Majize, but I don't have enough. So we'll just start building a Void Staff. Void Staff will make my passive really kill them now. Yeah, Brand Mid's actually pretty good against uh, Aurelia Mid. I played this matchup quite a bit, and it's so easy for Brand because Aurelia dashes in, and then you can just. Uh, stun her every time she dashes to a minion. Damn. Oh, he turned around. 
There's no minion for me to ult to make it bounce to him. Jeez, just my Q almost deleted Zareth. We just need to close out this game. We have a huge lead. Looks like their ADC left because he got mad. He was winning lane and then they just threw it somehow. So we'll just end this out. The brand mid is very satisfying to play. I like champions that are all their abilities are skill shots. I bounce this between them both. I'm dead here probably. Actually. Very good Lux Q saved my life. Goodbye, sir. That's Zarat's number one counter is a uh, Nocturne. You can't do anything against Nocturne all. I mean, you get Hourglass, but the thing is, he's just going to wait there for you to pop out. And you can't stun him because he has a spell shield. Let's just end. She's not surviving this one. Oh, Senna deleted her. here nope all right we win gg guys if you enjoyed the brand game make sure you like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't if you enjoy my content uh give me some ideas on some other mages you want me to play i can do azir velkaz uh Zareth, brand cassiopeia vagar uh there's a bunch of other i just kind of forgot about them i can play leblanc just anybody who's a mage and not really assassins there's some assassins that i play but not many i'm more of a mage player a caster uh, there we go. And we did 25k damage.